It has been a while since I've spoken about a World War II general. Therefore, in today's video, I'm going to speak about paratrooper general Hermann Bernhard Ramke. If you like to hear more biographies instead of events in the German history, please let me know in the comments below. Of course, I also appreciate it if you click the like and subscribe button and if you check out the affiliate links below the video. But without any further ado, let's talk about Hermann Bernhard Ramke. He was born on January 24th, 1889 in Schleswig in northern Germany as one of eight children to the farmer Hermann Ramke. In the year 1905, Ramke joined the Imperial Navy, with which he participated in the First World War, in the beginning of the war aboard the SMS Prinz Adalbert. SMS stood for Seine Majestät's Schiff, which is equivalent to the British HMS His Majesty's Ship. Since 1915, he was serving in the naval infantry in Belgium. During the course of the war, he was decorated with the Iron Cross First Class. By the end of the war, he held the rank of Lieutenant, which corresponded to the rank of Ensign in the United States Navy. It is to say that Ramke joined the Imperial Navy as a non-commissioned officer. He also received the Military Merit Cross of Prussia, which was the highest medal that could have been awarded to a non-commissioned officer. Once the war was over, Hermann Bernhard Ramke fought against the Red Army in Kurland, now part of Latvia, with the Freikorps Court von Brandes. In March 1919, he transferred to the army and was taken on in the Reichswehr. During the 1920s, Ramke attended artillery school, became company commander and was promoted to the rank of Hauptmann, equivalent to the rank of captain in the United States Army. Ramke participated in the Poland campaign in 1939 as an observer in the 22nd Army Corps Motorized, commanded by Ewald von Kleist. In the following year, now ranked as an Oberst, this rank corresponds to the rank of Colonel in the US Army, he transferred to the paratroops of the Luftwaffe. Hermann Bernhard Ramke was part of Operation Mercury, the airborne assault of the Mediterranean island Crete. The battle took place from May 20th until June 1st, 1941 and resulted in the successful conquest of the island by the Axis. During this operation, Ramke took over a regiment after its original commander, Eugen Meindl, was wounded. With his units, Ramke was able to conquer the airfield Malmi, which would allow reinforcements to be brought onto the island. After the British troops had left the island, German troops conducted acts of revenge against civilians of Crete who fought against the German occupation. For his achievements, Ramke was promoted to the rank of Generalmajor, equivalent to the rank of Brigadier General in the United States Army, and he was also decorated with the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross. In the following year, Ramke was transferred to the Italian Commando Supremo to prepare for an airborne assault against the Mediterranean island of Malta, codename Operation Hercules. Yet this operation was cancelled in November 1942. After the Battle of Crete, the German command viewed airborne landings as too lossy. The German Supreme Command also distrusted the Italian support of this operation. And last but not least, Erwin Rommel promised an advance to the Nile River even without the conquest of Malta. Ramke and his units instead were transferred to the African theater where he was promoted to the rank of General Leutnant corresponding to a major general in the US Army and decorated with the oak leaves to the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross after he managed to return to German lines after being cut off and freeing about a hundred prisoners of war. In July 1943, Hermann Bernhard Ramke was sent to Italy after the Italian dictator Benito Mussolini had been overthrown. Under Operation Axis, German troops occupied parts of the Italian territory, 
which would now fight on the Allied side. Ramke's units conducted several command operations during this time, including the freeing of Benito Mussolini. In September of the same year, Ramke was wounded and sent home for recovery, during which time he wrote and published his book titled From Cabin Boy to Paratrooper General. Hermann Bernhard Ramke took charge of the 2nd Paratrooper Division in May 1944. With these units he would fight on the Western Theater after the Allied landing in Normandy occurred. He was tasked to defend the stronghold of the Harbor City Brest. In September of the same year, he was awarded both the Swords and Brilliance to his Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross. He was promoted to the rank of General der Fallschirmjäger, General of Paratroops. On September 19, 1944, Hermann Bernhard Ramke and his staff surrendered, which disappointed the leaders of the Third Reich, which expected his suicide. As a prisoner of war, he was brought into the United States where he escaped, escaped camp twice, sent letters to the U.S. Senate to protest the bad treatment of the prisoners of war before he returned to camp. In 1946, he was sent to France, where he had to stand trial and was convicted of war crimes during the Battle of Brest. He was sentenced to five and a half years in prison, but after only serving about three months, he was released due to old age as well as counting his time in remand. After his release, he found employment, published a book about his experience in the war and his time as a prisoner of war. Hermann Bernhard Ramke died on July 5, 1968, in Kappel due to cancer at the age of 79. Thank you so much for watching.